My name is, uh, actual name is uh, Ilya Basin. I've been known uh, by a few names, uh, Fame. My name is Mike Mascone, and I play a level 80 Tarn Druid named Darksend. I'm, I'm Scott Porcaro, but I play T-Tox, a level 80 uh, Death Knight on Malganis. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've lived in Queens my whole life. I live in Yardley, uh, Pennsylvania, near Philadelphia. A raid, if you want to take it like a strict definition, is, is ten is a predefined number of people. It could be in WoW, it's ten or twenty-five people. Their job is to um, work together, and they all have different roles and different jobs in each role to perform a great feat. You're playing with twenty-five or you know plus people at a time, so you know the, the community you build with the people in your guild. I mean, the guild I've been in, I've been in for almost two years now. So like, it, it's really about the guild experience and playing with people that you trust, and it's a lot more of a community experience than people who don't play video games realize. I'd, I'd give shout outs to like, like every single guild I've been in, because I mean, they helped me grow as an individual, as a raider, et cetera, so I mean, I started out with Premonition, then Drow, then uh, Vodka, and now mine. We were a top, probably 250 guild, and mo the guild had mostly been comprised of working professionals. Beyond the game, you don't really know them, even though you, I consider everyone in my guild, most of the people in my guild. <laughs> Friends. Another guy's a veterinarian. Sometimes he'd be on the phone during a raid with like, like I remember they had a, a pet, they were weighing a decision where they're gonna put down the pet. And he's on the phone with this person and he's he's DPSing in Black Temple at the same time. I had no idea the, like when I jumped into WoW, I had no idea the raiding was gonna be um, back in the day, what it was then even, you know, like 40 people like working with each other. While the encounters were fairly simplistic, they were, you know, really, really challenging. Having never d done MC at all before, the very first night there, we got all the way up to get in. Just started doing like Molecore Core in the beginning, but like Black Moon Lair really got people to focus it, think a little bit more. The encounters were a little bit more challenging. You need a little bit more coordination, yeah. you know, like Veil Strands and whatnot. Sure. Oh, you gotta run out. What separates the raids? I would say uh, the coordination. A hardcore player has a goal in mind, and this is what they wanna go after, and that's why they devote all that time, all that effort, you know. Um, they will go to extra extents to like get certain items j just so they could like overcome a certain encounter where a casual player might be like well you know I'll just like try to get to it and if it's not gonna work out maybe next week. Like everyone thinks oh you're a top 50 world guild you know you all serious never talking on van always it, it, it's not really like that at all like sure there's wipes the vent clutter. We go into a raid encounter already knowing what's what the strategy is going to be. Even the best laid plans, you know, there's going to be times where you're going to be, oh, oh crap, you know, and, and, and something happens. And, and it's a game of numbers, it's a game of dice. So many things could go wrong in that fight because you had nine ads spawning at a time with four different tanks picking them up and no tricks of the trade back then, so you only had hunters misdirecting. So if you miss something, your healer's dead right away. We utilize just about every possible position and strat imaginable, the, like, like, like like off the wall type of strats, you know. And it, it that that's fun, you know. Like oh, like like we almost came close, you know. And it's, yeah. that's not really the way. Let's let's go back to the drum board and like try to figure it out. That's that that's really that's where it is. That fight, the heart, literally once you got to five percent, you could get to five percent fifty times in a row and still be no closer to killing it than you were when you were still wiping in phase one, because that last 5% was almost impossible if you even had a single player dead. It's the challenge, and it's the challenge of, of whatever the designer, the encounter designer put forth. It could be something as simple of as don't stand in a thing on the ground. It could also be internal too. So what you do is you try and say, okay, well, let's, let's clear it in an hour. Let's clear it in a half hour, or you know, whatever's reasonable. Let's let's chain pull it. Let's speed clear it. Let's see how fast we can do it, and, and keep people engaged, keep people involved, and and you know, and, and brag about it on uh, when you have the, the stuff on World of Logs later. Should I use r being a raid leader as a resume? I think it'd, it'd come you know, managing 25 people, you know, night after night, and then someone posted that they did that, and they got like they had an interview, and they mentioned that at their interview, and almost immediately after the interview ended. There's definitely direct parallels in a raid that you can put in a business world. Um, you know, dealing with people that aren't holding up their end of the bargain, uh, dealing, you know, dealing with drama queens and all that other stuff. And, and even from a management perspective, if you're an officer or a guild leader or a raid leader, there's a lot of management that you can do in that and a lot of things that you can learn like in the management classes that I took or whatever or things that I already came into those management classes knowing. Leading 25 random strangers 
should be a good quality for someone hiring a job, but no, you play an online game, you're terrible, goodbye. It's usually a little more, um, I guess, esoteric to some people. It gets made fun of because it falls on the like nerd or, you know, you know uh, category. Nerds. <laughs> It's more apt to get the basement dwelling, you know, living at the parents, you know, stereotype of, of, a, of a gamer. I, I get ridiculed, you know, make, make fun of it. But I mean, it, it's cool, you know, like I get punches thrown at me because of it. And it's, you know, I'm able to take them because I enjoy what I do. You know, that's my hobby. Um, other people do other hobbies. And I mean, honestly, I see no difference between uh, devoting your time online playing WoW versus, you know, browsing the web on like, say, Facebook or like YouTube, you know, it's, I mean, you're still in front of the computer. I just, I do something interactive. Why should that have any impact on what they're doing? It's how they spend their free time. If I were to ask that employer, what do you do when you go home, you know? Like when you're not doing work stuff at home. How is that any different from how you spend your free time? Just, just, like, just like, say when cars came about, you know, people were like, you know, what is this? You know, and then they eventually got into it. And I think the same thing is going to happen with, with gaming. Uh, while it might get ridiculed right now, give it a couple of years and, you know, everyone's going to be playing it for the most part. We had wiped sub 5% all night and then trash respawned. And it, it was getting late and we're like, you know what, we've been getting there all night so we're going to re-clear trash and go as late as we need to. And um, it's probably about 1 in the morning or so when we finally killed it. And Oh, that was just crazy. <laughs> when you've been working on a boss that long, having that much struggle with it. I also remember it because as soon as we killed the boss, Dark Sun promoted to initiate, Dark Sun promoted to member. You know, while people are going like, yeah, you know, we killed it, and Ben is like blaring. To, to me, I still realize it's a game, and it, it's cool. We invested a lot of time to get to that point, to, to, you know, to kill whatever encounter that's needed. Once you overcome that, it's, I think you want to you know, relax, you know, have, have your, you know, have your free time going for you. It's all about coordination. You have to be really coordinated. And planning. Learn the mechanics. And, uh, and in some cases, it's just winging it. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep, 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 deep. Spot on. I mean, bravo. <laughs>